There is fish everywhere. I think that's the biggest one for today. <laughs> that's a big fish. G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to tie a carp fly. I've had a lot of success with this fly in the last couple of weeks. At the end of the video, I'll get into the features of this fly and why it's tied this way. But for now, we're just going to crack on with tying it. The hook I'm using is a 90 degree jig hook in size 6 or 8. Either one will work fine. The thread I'm using is a Semperfly 6.0 wax thread in black. I'll start off by tying a thread base at the front of my hook there. Snip off the excess. For the eyes, I'm using Wapsi Hourglass Eyes. Size on these ones is micro. Micro are good size, they're heavy enough to sink the fly, but not heavy enough to hit the water too hard. I'll tie those in up near the 90 degree bend in the hook. Some diagonal wraps each way. Some figure eights. And then finally some wraps around all that just to cinch it all down. And we'll bring our thread back like so. And we'll come in with a bit of super glue. Brush that on there to keep all that secure and make it more durable. The next step is to add some yellow chenille. Burn the end with the lighter. Come to the, about the middle of your hook and just secure that in on top of the hook. Now when we wrap this in, we want to come about halfway down that, that hook shank. And that'll just make it poke up when it's sitting on the lake bed. Okay, when you're happy there, get yourself some sort of leg. This is a flutter leg in black barred root beer. I'm add that in and make it the same length as my chenille. So I'll tie that off. One, two. I'll bring that around the hook and tie that off again. One, two, three. And give that a snip there. Happy with that. Now we'll just tie that in along the side of it, each side of our chenille. Just want to keep adjusting it so it stays on the side. I like it on the side. And then when we come down here, we're going to come down to where we tied in, where we finished tying in that chenille. So then you've got legs down there that poke up as well. Very good. Okay. The next piece we're going to put in is a piece of foam. But before we do that, we're going to turn our hook over. Grab our hook, turn it over. Now we're going to get our foam, two millimeter foam, four millimeters wide, and we're going to tie it in along here, along this hook shank. Bit of a tricky one, but you want to get it in there like so. Just play with it. I'm happy with that. So next we're going to tie in a partridge flank. 
just prepare the tip like this just strip back some of the fibers and we're going to tie in the tip so just tie in that tip like so tie it all the way back to where you tied your foam in make a dubbing noodle with some UV iced up in black and we'll just start at the back behind that foam wrapping that eye stub in there and then we'll bring it in front of our foam and our partridge flank and just hide all that those thread wraps down there just need a little bit more Okay, now we're happy with that. We're going to put our, bring our partridge flank forward and pull back as many of the fibers as we can to create legs on either side of this fly. So I'll put a wrap over that, give it a bit of a pull. Yep, there we go. Happy with that. All right, snip away the excess. Wrap that. Now you bring your foam forward. Tie that off. All right, you want to make that foam fairly tight. So what I do is pull it pretty tight and just drop it over that hook shank there. The hook eye, sorry. That's tight, that's good. Tie that off there, give it a few wraps, <clears throat> pull it back off, and then just get rid of the excess however you want. Just tie that down a little bit more. Now, you should have something that resembles that. Now we're going to tie in a a couple more legs so we'll stick in that we'll go we'll make them just longer than the hook we'll tie that one in there and just bring it you just want to bring it down to the side of the hook give it another wrap if you need to happy with that all right so now we'll take the, our other side and we'll tie that in too Tie that in there. And we'll snip off our excess leg, same length as the other one. And I'll just hold them together and give it a bit of a wrap so that they're coming out of the, what I would call the throat of this thing. And that'll stand them up nice and straight. Right. Now we get our cock cape. And we pick off a nice size feather. Tie it in by the tip again. What I like to do is just fold that tip over. Give it a wrap. That'll just be more secure. And then in that mess of garbage there, you gotta try and find your tip and snip it off. Or you can leave it, but I snip it off. Then we'll wrap that around the hook three or four times. Secure that with a couple of wraps of thread. Snip that off. 
Now, let's just pull all those fibers back best you can without hooking yourself and give it a nice wrap around the head. Secure all that down. That's looking good to me and give it a whip finish. Three to four turn whip finish. Snip away your thread. Now come in with your super glue. That'll be there. Come in with your super glue. So like I said before, um, I'll talk about the features of this fly. The dumbbell eyes help it sink, but they're not too big that they don't create a large splash in the water. The foam helps the hook point stick up when it's sitting on the lake bed, so this will sit the right way up. These parts, the chenille, that is totally for the carp to feel. When they feel that, they think they've got some sort of freshwater crustacean. These legs do the same thing. So it's all about feel and this partridge, this partridge and this hackle is just about movement. It has a lot of movement in the water, this fly. And carp just, if you get it in their feeding window, that is it, it, it gets demolished. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and give this a go. Check out my carp fishing video, I'll put a link to it here. And yeah, just have fun with this. Doesn't have to be these colors. You can make it any color you want. You can play around with it. There's, um, there's a million ways to skin a cat. I don't think carp care about color. I think they go more on feel. And it, this one's just about the feel. They feel it, they suck it in, you, and you're on. So yeah, that's it. Have a crack at tying it yourself. And good luck fishing it. Thanks for watching. There we go. Here he is. <laughs> That's a big fish. <laughs>